So what we're going to do now, I'm going to show you how it sounds, cold start, and then we're going to take a cruise, and I'm going to show you open throttle on a highway on a video I did before. I just started up with the cutout and I forgot to hit record. Anyways, it's still a little cold. Alright, so the engine is still a little cold. I'm gonna flip on the access port 3.0. This is open. Take it easy. Only one window open. I'm gonna close my window now. Right. So closed windows. Easy driving. gotten loud louder with the exhaust cutout it's I can hear the turbo chirping it's it's pretty cool actually so now I will, what I gotta do to turn it off the switch is off right now I don't know if you can see this or not I'm gonna flip it on you see I'm I created a little bit of boost in fact it was six 6.8 to be exact and it's off So before I throw in the highway videos, I just want to show you how I used to turn it off or close the exhaust cutout before I knew that I could do it from inside the cabin was by doing this. There you go. Like I said, this is airtight and it just needs air to travel back in it and the flap will close. So now a short clip of some fourth gear pulls. Actually, I'm gonna do a pull with without the cutout. So muffler only. Start locking. Let's see if I can slow down a bit more. Okay, logging from about two thousand RPMs and go.
So I'm going to explain why I did a street tune and not a dyno tune. Well, to me, a dyno tune is just uh, just only so you can know the numbers, which I don't, I don't really care for the numbers. I'm guessing right now it made about 300, at least, at least 300 horses to the wheels on pump gas and probably about 330, maybe 340 on E85. Now, when I did go do the street tune, I was at... I was at 70% of E85. Now, the higher I go on ethanol, the more boost I get. I get. So on pump gas right now, it's boosting at about 20, maybe almost 20. On the 70, which I had uh, when I was uh, getting the tune, uh, max boost I've noticed was 21.8, almost 22. So if I were to get you know, clean 85, I'm sure it would be at, you know, 22, maybe 22.1, uh, something, something right there. Torque-wise, so before on pump gas, before all these mods, before the engine build, I, I had 300 to the wheels, uh, horses, and torque was, torque was 330. And this was a tune from 12 or 14 years ago, long time ago on a 2.0 Access Sport. This time around, Access Sport 3.0, obviously it's, it's better. Now it's on E85. You've seen all the mods. If you haven't, check out the Subaru engine build. You'll see what I'm talking about. A lot of upgrades went in. So torque-wise, I'm guessing again, maybe 360, 370 here and there, maybe less, I don't know. I don't care, like I said. And if you ask me, in my opinion, that's only my opinion, street tune is better because the car is in, in its natural environment. You know, you're outside, you know, doing pulls on, on the street, the airflow that's going into the um, front of the car, into the um, intake, whatnot. You know, I have special separate openings uh, for the intake to blow cold air from the outside to the intake and um, you know cooling also instead of fans you're actually outside you know it's a natural kind of a natural habitat for the car and my tuner was patient enough because it was it was a sh rainy day actually uh, when the tune when, during the street tune it was windy it was it was wet too kind of kind of wettish uh, we did uh, the pulls first fuel because the car was running rich while you know i didn't find that out until the actual tune um but uh, I, the base map that i got at first that map turned out to be a bit too ri too rich but it was okay uh, for the braking uh purposes and we did a few pulls on second gear then maybe two or three, then went on to the, to a third gear pulls, did maybe four. This was a few months ago. You know, I'm, I'm, I am delayed on these videos. Uh, so three, four pulls on third gear, went home. Then, and this was on the, two, oh yeah, I, I did mention that. It was 70, about 70 uh, ethanol, 70% 70 ethanol. Then I actually got to a point where I my export said that I'm at 15% of ethanol. Then I went out and I did fourth gear pulls, which what you just saw, that was it. That was me doing just fourth gear pulls and logging those pulls for the tuner. So I did uh, one for with an open, closed uh, cutout. Then I did one pull uh, on pump gas with the cutout open. Then, again, it took like a week or two or three for me to have actually time and go out 10 miles from where I live or even 15 to get actual E85. I had to wait for the tank to run, you know, kind of dry, get it as low as possible. Then I ended up with uh, 70 or something. I don't remember. This was months ago. It doesn't really matter. Then with uh, the, the, you know, maybe it was 75. Again, I went uh, on the highway, did fourth gear pulls, uh, closed, cut out, then again with open cutout and those and logged all those four pulls 
and send them out to my tuner. And he did some detailed work on the map again. And I actually did it again, but this time I think I was at 45 or 50% of ethanol. And again, went to the on the highway, the fourth gear pulls, open, closed, cut out, and so on. So uh, overall, I think I'm on the fourth map right now. Oh yes, and why? Why? I, because I was worried about knock. I kept getting knock, especially at aggressive uh, gear changes. The knock would go up uh, minus eight, minus ten even. This was uh, the access port doing its work, basically retarding the ignition. But it turned out to be probably a combination of solid mounts and a lighter, a lightweight flywheel. So he did his magic. Now when I'm really shifting, I think the most I've gotten was minus 1.4, which up to on these cars, believe it or not, minus 2.8 is acceptable. It's a, it's a normal thing, but it's false knock. It's, it's, it's what it is. It's just false knock with the right tune. There's nothing to worry about. So the car is done. That's it. So that is it. Not sure how many episodes is that by now. Was it 20? 18? A lot more than I expected, as usual. You know, every time you get into a project like that, you know, if you're thinking it's going to take you a month, add another five or eight. At, at least quadruple the time. And the money, by the way. But don't be afraid get into it there is a lot of information online youtube google whatever you can you can pretty much do anything just by looking reading kind of and even as you go along you know people will answer you it, uh, you know even yeah you have any questions ask if i'll know i'll let you know i went through it uh i know a lot more now than i did uh before the build obviously you know didn't all go smooth there were ups and downs, but it's it's all a, a learning procedure and it's fun, man. The outcome, just now as I was driving, you know, for the five minutes uh, I did just going around the block and knowing that everything, the engine bay was basically empty and once it's all back in, once it's all working, you know, everything comes together and knowing that you did it, that's the beauty of it. That, that's the beauty of the whole build. So today is actually more or less a few days this or this way. It's about a year since the car broke down. Since this happened. Remember this? This is how it began. Piston number four issue. Here's the missing piece. I could have made it much quicker, could have uh, just bought a, a you know, short block, change the clutch maybe, stay stick with the 2.0 and do another tune. And I'd be up and running probably in a month or, or two. But you know, you know how it goes. Oh, I have this apart, I might as well do this. Then you have this apart. Oh, yeah, I might as well do this since it's all apart. And you just keep going and going and going and yeah, one year later, but like I said, it's all good. All right, guys, thanks with uh, sticking with me on this one. There's gonna be more, I'm sure. Next one is gonna be an actual first autocross. Now, not many events this year, you know why, too bad. But I will do my best to make it to at least one track day and maybe another autocross, we'll see. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the bell so you don't miss any videos and I'll see you soon.